Hey, it's me, Rage, and this is so exciting because this is the first episode of my ColourPop series. I'm super happy because I have so many ColourPop things to show you. I love ColourPop. It's such a good brand. They're good quality. They have such a great price range. They're super friendly in the wallet. And their brand itself is just super fun. That's why I'm so excited to sit here and do several videos of just showing you all of the ColourPop things I have, what I just bought, what I recommend and how they perform, what they're like, and so much more. So I'm super excited. I've been wanting to do this video for so long, but I waited to do this video now because my order finally came and this order is filled with giveaways for you. I waited to make this video because I have so many things to give away. So I hope you stay tuned to this mini series, to my ColourPop series, so that you can win. I swear it's not just one item it's not two it's not three it's a big bag of several things I'm still thinking if it will just be one winner with like a bag of makeup or if I should distribute it to a lip a lippy lover like someone who just loves eyeshadows etc it's a lot so I hope you're just as excited as I am stay tuned and let's start the first episode of this series so the first thing I decided to show you is going to be the newest things that I bought from Colourpop. So it's going to be like a mini unboxing or a mini haul video just to show you the, th the new things that I bought. I want to show you first the new things that I bought because some of these are repeats of things that I already have. This first episode is going to be about my newest package. So usually, whenever I order Colourpop, I ask someone who is in the States um, and they're going to like either travel back and forth or if I have a friend who's coming back to the Philippines from the States, I order it online, pay for it myself and ask them to just bring it back here to Manila. Um, that's what I've been doing for the longest time. So my most recent package, I wanted to experience what it's like to ship directly from the Colourpop site and have an international order and um, learn how it will go especially with customs and it was super hard okay so if you are going to order ColourPop with an international shipping and it's going to go through Philippine customs just know that you have to go through the FDA proposal thing um, I had a big order so they were worried about it second is customs took a while like it took an an extra three weeks for me to get my order even if they already told me my order was there so uh, that was that was a hassle and the worst part is I had to pay an extra fee of almost 5,000 pesos it reached almost 5,000 pesos just because it was in customs for so long whenever I would ask a friend to just bring me my order I mean I would give them a gift as a thank you for letting me have space in their luggage but I think 5,000 is too much for how long it's been there and it was just unnecessary. First things first, if you want Colourpop here in the Philippines, get it either on Beauty Manila or order it online, pay for it, and then have someone bring it here. It's so much easier. Okay, let's start. So what did I get and see what I got from my recent order? I went shopping during the big lipstick sale. So it's a lot of lippies and everything else is... yeah. Just mostly lipsticks, but let's go with the non-lipsticks first. I have another Super Shock Cheek. I love their highlighters so much. You'll see how many highlighters I have later. So I got a new one in the shade Wisp. So it looks dark right now because it's so golden. But I think even with my skin tone, this will work well. It's just very golden. My lights are very bright, so I don't know if this is giving justice to its actual color. So with ColourPop highlighters, all you have to use are your fingers and you get the best payoff of color and shine and it's beautiful. So I think that's the only face product that I got because the others are eyeshadow palettes. I got brown sugar. It's the Carouche ColourPop collaboration and this is what it looks like. That's brown sugar. So I also have California Love. This is one of their newer palettes. Actually, the three that I bought are newer palettes. This is California Love. Oh, it's nice. It's like more sunset-y. Lastly, something I've been excited about is the Sweet Talk palette. This is what it looks like. Oh, it's pretty. Look, it's holographic. 
my kind of colors, the pinkish nudes. Something I noticed about the newer eyeshadow palettes is that their glitters are a lot stronger and a lot more glittery nowadays. But like, if I show you the palettes that I have now, they're not like that. The newer palettes seem more bonga, I guess. <laughs> okay, time for basically... Okay, this is like a box of Sephora because I'm not at home right now. So I had to pack it in a safe manner. But yeah, so this is a box of all the lipsticks and lippies that I got. Ah, uh, hoarding problems. Maybe I'll start with the lip liners. Okay, so with the lip liners, I don't usually use a lip liner. So it's ironic that I bought so many again and that I have a lot. But just in general, they really perform well. It's just personally, I don't use it as often. I got a lot of brownish shades of lip pencils. So this is BFF3. This is in this shade. And I have it in Beeper. Another round, little one, and good and plenty. So let's just show the different ones. So in my newer order, it's a lot of browns because I currently have a lot of pinkish and mauvish lip liners. So I think um, now that Uso are you must brown tone lips, I wanted to get more of this shade. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but these are a lot of liquid lipsticks. Uh, let's start with these are the two ultra matte lippies that I got. I'm not completely into the ultra matte lippies because they can get drying, but these two shades, I think they can make an exception. So this one is in most likely two, and this one is in sunny side. I also ordered two Kathleen Lights collaborations. I super love Kathleen Lights. She's the whole reason why I'm into ColourPop and I want to support her in every way, but also just in general, the things that she makes with ColourPop are really, really pretty. So I got two liquid lipsticks. I got one ultra satin lip, which is my favorite. One of my favorite. It's like number two. And I also have an ultra glossy lip in the shade Etoile, Etoile, <laughs> Etoile. And then I got Aquarius, so this is Aquarius. It's one of her OG, um, collaborations with ColourPop and I'm super excited to try this. Let's talk about all of the satin lips that I ordered. So as I said, the satin finish is my second favorite lip finish. Um, so this one I have in Frickin' Frack, one of their OGs and bestsellers. This is 951. This is my second tube already. It's the I Love Sarahi collaboration with ColourPop. It's my second tube and I swear I love this. This is the one that goes in my bag, the one that goes with me. It's a little bit deep on me, like a deep mauve and it's super pretty. I also ordered the Becky G collaboration in an ultra satin lip in the shade Miha. This is a really, really pretty shade. It has a pretty peach tone to it. And lastly, I also have Calypso and Magic Wand. So again, nudes. I mean, I can never get enough nudes, especially if they're in the Ultra Satin Lip Finish. And now for my number one favorite finish from their lippies is the Ultra Blotted Lip. So I am not one who loves a bright lip. And I like them soft. I like it. I like my lips not overpowering my face. So the ultra blotted lip is perfect for me and I hate tints pa naman. So it has a finish of a tint, a sheer tint in a way, but it's not as drying as a normal watery tint. That's why I love the ultra blotted lips. That's why I bought so many. <laughs> and the shades that I got are Scenic Root, Vitamin C, which is like a little bit more orangey, like a burnt orange. My second tube of Zuma. Zuma is one of their best sellers in their ultra blotted lip and I love it so much. That this is my second or my third? My second or third tube. This one is in Sleepy Eyes. It's a little bit deeper but because it is a sheer finish, I'm excited with how this will look on my lips. Next is Cypress Chill. It's a little bit more of a deep reddish fuchsia. And lastly, Halo Effect. So as you can see, Again, nothing new, but they're all in shades of pinkish nudes. 
But for me, it's okay because I love ultra blotted lips. I wear them almost all the time. If it was anything from ColourPop, it would be, well, one of them would be ultra blotted lips. There is still a lot of lippies to go through. Okay, and last for the ones in long tubes are the glosses. So this is my second order of the Kathleen Lights collaboration in Moonchild. It's an ultra glossy lip. And then I have two orders of Fairy Floss in the ultra glossy lip tinted. I like this one more. It comes in the brush tip. I like it when glosses aren't too glittery. It's just like a thick shine and sheen. That's why I knew I would need a second tube, so I just I just ordered it already. And lastly, for the ultra glossy lip is the Shayla and ColourPop collaboration. This one's super glittery in the shade Neat Freak, so it's very glittery. Is it showing? There. So when it comes to glosses, I like it in a light pink. And for the main event, the whole reason why I bought so many things is because I I really wanted to try the Lux lipsticks of ColourPop. So I'm a really big fan of traditional bullet lipsticks. And the way the Lux lipsticks of ColourPop look like, I couldn't say no. I mean, it has stars on them. The packaging is rose gold and bright. It's clean. I couldn't say no. I love the traditional bullet lipstick. I know liquid lipsticks are a thing. People love tints, but I just love the OG. It's not my number one favorite, but I know this is timeless. So the first one is Big Break. It's like, obviously, another mauvish pink. This one is Name Drop. So these two are mattes. This is the shade Still Crazy. This is in the shade Appy. This is the lightest that I have, I think. La Lady. It's getting deeper. This is Hello Stranger. It's a deep purple. And lastly, I don't know what made me want to do this. This is Aeronaut. It's a black cream lipstick. The last four Lux lipsticks are collaboration. So let's start with the Makeup by Shayla or the Shayla collaborations in Quickie and Come On Sis. Quickie is the lighter one and Come On Sis is the more pink one. Since I bought the brown sugar palette, I thought of getting the brown sugar Lux lipstick also. Cinnamon, which is a cream lipstick. And lastly, of course, a Kathleen Lights collaboration in a Lux lipstick. This is her cream lipstick in What's Your Sign? A perfect nude. And that's it for all the lippies that I got. Okay, one last product. The last that I got from the haul is since I bought so, so many liquid lipsticks and lipsticks in general, I got myself a lippy scrub. <laughs> This is, I guess, to exfoliate my lips when I... Well, this is really what I need because I've been doing a lot of lip swatches. This one is like... I knew it. It smells like coconut. I got it in Coco Loco, so a coconut-flavored lip scrub. <laughs> and yeah, that's it! That's it for my first episode of the new things that I got from ColourPop. Okay, wait. Insert, I forgot to say, I also ordered eyeshadows. <laughs> a lot of individual eyeshadows. So I got the empty palette, the empty sunset palette. So this is what it looks like. So with your eyeshadows, you can depot it from its casing and put it here. So I ordered different shades. I'm probably just going to insert a picture of all of them because there a lot. I think I ordered 30 shades um, of single eyeshadows. But yeah, I got a lot of individual eyeshadows. They were on sale and they're very practical for my job since I am a makeup artist. I want to pick the colors that I bring so that I don't have to bring a lot of separate individual small palettes. So at least I have one palette of all the colors that I need. Opening these individually is going to be a long and tedious task. 
That's it for my first episode of the new things that I got from ColourPop. <laughs> Just show me some love in the comments. Tell me that you want to see that and I will. And that's all for this video. I'm ready to make the next video. So watch out for it and see you in the next one.